everyone. Welcome in to Case and Point True Crime, formerly Crime Time Buzz. I'm Jay. Today's video is the Summer Wells case, and we are discussing the reference, the Cornbread Mafia, that was made on the Dr. Phil show. November 11th and 12th, it was aired, and Candace Bly and Don Wells were on national TV with behavior analysts, and they had taped it two weeks before prior in person in California. Let's not forget they took a side trip to Disneyland with Summer missing and their three boys removed from the home. They took a side trip to Disney. That's right, Disney. This is the fifth video in our series of going back to the beginning. And just, they are numbered and in the playlist for Summer. And I'm doing this so those of us can go back through the year of noise and nonsense and focus on the facts, maybe things we forgot or we missed, as well as for those of you who want to follow Summer's case, but it's so overwhelming and there's so much content, you're not sure where to begin. So this is number five. If you've missed one through four, they're in Summer's playlist. And thank you so much for your support and joining me. Without you all, this channel would be nothing. I really appreciate you. So this video is titled, The Cornbread Mafia. The analysts on Dr. Phil had asked Don and Candace if they thought the Cornbread Mafia could be involved in Summer's disappearance. Don said he had heard something called the Hillbilly Mafia, but he and his family had tried to stay clear of them. Of them. Now, this is something I had just kind of let roll over before, and I'm so glad we're going back because when I listened to that statement, Don said he'd heard of something called the Hillbilly Mafia, but he and his family tried to stay clear of them. So they've tried to stay clear. To me, I can infer they know it exists and have enough details of who or where it exists that they know how to steer clear of them if they wanted to, correct? Am I right? Let me know what you think about that. Weigh in if you would. McGraw explained to his show's viewers that Cornbread Mafia is used to describe a grassroots crime syndicate in Tennessee. Okay, and grassroots, according to Oxford definitions, is the most basic level of an activity or organization. It also is defined as ordinary people regarded is the main body of an organization's membership. Ordinary people and the most basic level of an organization or activity. When I think of that, those words in the past almost 12 months, my mind goes to just the many people that have interjected themselves. I'm not accusing, I'm speculating, I'm talking with all of you. You guys are amazing in your thoughts and insights and sharing back and forth. So that's why I'm doing this. So what if they are their own version of the hillbilly cornbread mafia? Talking it through based on analysis of their interview with the analyst and Dr. Phil, you know, I don't know. Why did they ask that question? Why was that question one they asked? So Dr. Phil and the analyst said when they mentioned the cornbread mafia, Candace started frowning and then crying and then said she was being interrogated and wanted to stop the interview. So cornbread mafia, why did those words cause the one emotional outburst we've seen from Candace Ply? We haven't seen that in her pleading for her daughter or in other interviews. So. I'm just thinking, what if to Candace Bly, the cornbread mafia had its own meaning, including her friends, drug acquaintances, maybe people who live close by? I don't know. Again, I'm just speculating. What did that mean? What does it mean to Candace that it evokes so much emotion? Why? Was Summer a victim of a cornbread mafia? A hillbilly mafia? Why do you think that specific question was asked? Ordinary people at the very basic of levels of an activity or organization is what grassroots means. Meth is talked about like the weather in Don Wells' world. Houses, he visited houses, crack houses in Knoxville. 
did drug runs to Mexico and back. He speaks about trafficking with him saying he saw kids being trafficked in California and trying to sell his own child for drugs. Jody Sue is claiming to have been trafficked. And TBI flat out asked him if he sold, his, sold Summer for drugs. Substance abuse is prevalent. Many of the possible indicators. Why did the mention of the cornbread mafia send Candace Bly into a tantrum and a fit of tears and stomping off the stage at Dr. Phil's? Did they hit too close to home to some meaning that Candace was relating to? I don't know, but I think it was worth looking back to and asking why. Ask yourself, is it a common experience in your circle to have, to have talk about being trafficked, seeing kids being trafficked, or someone trying to have sold their own kid for drugs? Well, it was in Summers. At one point, Don Wells answered the analysts when they asked him what he thought happened to Summer. He said she was kidnapped. Well, that was a red flag to them because originally he had used the word abduction. And the analyst said kidnapping infers a transactional event. Transaction, payment, exchange. The three also weighed in on a clip edited by Candace where she said no very quickly to three questions they fired off. Did she hurt Summer? Does she know what happened to Summer? And does she know who took Summer? The three men made note that the third no was said in a lower voice after a slight side-to-side -side head shake. The third question, my friends, was, does she know who took her daughter? The Cornbread Mafia. The Hillbilly Mafia. Do they exist? Why, if it meant nothing, is this the one question that Candace has broken down to? Mind you, for because she felt like she was being interrogated, and was involved with them, or perhaps she's not involved. And when they mentioned it, she got scared because she knows they exist and they took Summer. I don't know. Why, my friends, did do you think it upset Candace so much? Do you think it exists at a very basic level within Candace and Don's circle? Perhaps. Perhaps not. To be fair, it could be that they know it exists and they fear they took Summer. I don't know. But then why wouldn't they have been honest about everything they've been asked the last 12 months to help lead law enforcement to Summer? And why was that question asked on Dr. Phil? And that, my friends, is case in point. I would really love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me and being a part of the community. And if you're not a part of the community yet, smash that subscribe and notification bell, and I will see you on the next case. Blessings to all.